Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with chicken piccata. One of my favorite chicken dishes of all time, and it actually means chicken prick, believe it or not. Prick is in poked with a spear, and it's actually a sort of a metaphor for the sharp, intense sauce. So anyway, here's how we start this easy and pretty quick dish. All right, I'm gonna take two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. If you're using the small ones, a six ounce, don't bother pounding. But I have these pretty big chicken breasts here. These are about, I don't know, probably 10 ounces at least. So I'm gonna pound those a little bit between plastic. About a half inch thick for me is about perfect. We're gonna season generously with cayenne. Salt and pepper, of course. All right, once these are seasoned, we have to dredge them in flour. People, please stop dredging chicken in giant pans of flour, and then you have to throw all the flour away. If you're just doing a couple breasts, use a plate, sprinkle some flour on it, place your chicken down, move it around a little bit, sprinkle some more flour, and once it's coated, you're good to go. Why waste all that flour? And yes, one of my chicken breasts broke in half while I pounded it. Stop laughing. It's not funny. All right, doesn't affect the recipe though, don't worry. All righty, chicken's prepped, heading over to the stove, Heavy skillet on medium-high heat. A couple tablespoons of olive oil, not extra virgin. I'm going to shake off the excess flour from the chicken. And once that oil is hot and starts to shimmer a little bit, I'm going to put the chicken in. And if it doesn't bubble like that when it hits, if it doesn't start sizzling, it wasn't hot enough. Let your pan get hot. I'm going to turn it down to medium and cook these for about four to five minutes per side. Of course, this is gonna depend on the thickness of your chicken. So play it by ear, but we're gonna brown it on both sides in the olive oil, all right? And when it's cooked through, we are gonna remove to a plate and reserve. Now time for the delicious piccata sauce. I'm gonna leave the pan on medium heat. I'm gonna place in my capers. And here's a cool little trick. Take a fork and smash about half of them in the pan. This is gonna release a lot more of the flavor and I really think it makes a difference. After the capers sizzle in that oil for about 30 seconds, I'm gonna dump in my white wine, which of course is gonna deglaze the bottom. I'm gonna boil that for about two minutes until it reduces by half. It's not gonna take long. As soon as the wine is reduced by about half, dump in your lemon juice and a little splash of water and then cold butter that I cut in chunks. And yes, you're thinking, that's a lot of butter. Well, the reason for that, this is a butter sauce. All right, so it's fine. We're gonna turn the heat to as low as it goes. We're gonna keep it moving until the butter's melted. I'm gonna throw in some beautiful fresh parsley. I'm gonna put my chicken back in just to heat through. It's only gonna take like a minute because they you know, just came out of the frying pan about five minutes ago. And as soon as those are heated through, you are done. You should have a beautifully emulsified lemon wine caper sauce. We're gonna put the chicken on a plate. We're gonna spoon over the amazing, amazing piccata sauce. Oh, and by the way, let me save you some trouble. Don't ask me what to substitute for capers. There's no answer. All right, I'm gonna cut into this and I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it. The chicken, tender, moist, that sauce, sharp but not too sharp, just bursting with flavor. So anyway, there it is, chicken piccata. Super simple, super easy. I think you should give this a try, and I think you should put this in your permanent chicken rotation, and I think you should make it at least once every 10 days. Now, you typically see this served over rice. Here I'm serving it with some leftover asparagus souffle and roasted red peppers. Trust me, it tasted way better than it looks, because you know what? That doesn't look too good, does it? But it was really delicious. Anyway, check out the site. All the ingredients are there, as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.